This is the HTC Amaze. It's a TELUS device and it's got a 1.5 GHz third generation Snapdragon processor, 1 GB of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, and an 8 megapixel low aperture camera with two LED flashes and excellent low light results. It's got a single speaker at the back, a 1730 milliamp hour battery, and a dual cell HSBA Plus baseband inside. It has two dedicated camera buttons, one for the camera and one for the camcorder. The volume rocker is the same shade of silver as the rest of the aluminum body and it's got a very hearty well-made design. The back cover comes off from the bottom with a clip. Just push it down and the entire back comes off. You'll see that there are antennas uh, built into the back of the device that interact with these uh, portions here and it also has NFC built in for um, instant phone to phone or phone to tag communication. You can see that the design resembles a little bit of the HTC Sensation as well as the MyTouch 4G slide that was released last year for uh, or this past year for T-Mobile. It comes with HTC Sense 3.0 and um, Sense 3 uh, running Android 2.3.4 comes with Wi-Fi hotspot capabilities with a widget right on the front. It's got a beautiful uh, design and uh, a very nice uh, screen with excellent viewing angles and color reproduction and the screen actually comes out a little bit. The glass is a straight glass design and the bezel actually comes down so when we hit the end of the uh, screen you actually hit a bit of a bump here and it's a bit uncomfortable. Uh, that's one of the design problems that we had with uh, the HTC Amaze. Other than that it's uh, it's a very heavy device. It's 173 grams but it feels very solid in the hand and it's a great uh, accompaniment to anybody who's into photography and uh, somebody who's taking um, who wants to consolidate all of their um, gadgets into one. The quality of the camera is is fantastic. It's one of HTC's uh, biggest improvements to their line of phones since, uh, since the latest version. You can see that from the off screen you can get to the camera right away just by holding down either the right button or to get into the camcorder the left button. Camera um, shots take are, are instant so I can take a shot, focus, and right away, and I can continue taking shots. Um, most of the settings are one touch enabled, so you have a magic wand on the bottom here, and you can scroll through it on the left hand side to give you such effects as panorama, HDR, and burst. There are custom settings such as uh, exposure, contrast, saturation, and sharpness and uh, in addition to that there are um, scenes that you can alter for portrait, landscape, action, and macro. Um, shots are really good in low light, much better than the equivalent HTC uh, sensation. First you can see the Amaze has been, shot, uh, has been shooting the same scene as the uh, sensation below and uh, the first is with a flash turned on, the second with the flash turned off you can see that uh, the quality of the low light shots are much better in addition the flash takes more accurate photos uh, although we found that uh, it, it oversaturates the scene just a little bit overall the sensation is uh, definitely the precursor here uh, you can see it takes a lot of the d same design sensibilities uh, it is a little bit the amaze is a little bit thicker owing to the dedicated buttons and the larger battery um, it is much faster with that 1.5 gigahertz processor and you can see that uh, viewing angles are much improved over the sensation as well and maximum brightness has been improved too. This is definitely an upgrade to anybody who's coming from a previous generation HTC device. Uh, you have your HTC watch which comes uh, with hundreds and thousands of videos that you can rent or purchase. Movies such as Horrible Bosses can be purchased for $19.99.
Green Lantern can be rented for $4.99 and that gives you uh, 48 hours to watch once you've started and 30 days from beginning to end. Uh, content uh, is a little bit lackluster uh, given the fact that HTC does not have their own music store uh, that is launching in their next generation with Sense 4.0. There is no bloatware loaded pre um, preloaded on this device. This is the retail version, and you can see um, it it has basically nothing. Um, a NFC is available for this device. It's very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S2X. You can see that uh, you have NFC loaded here. You also have your uh, uh, Telus um, your your Telus carrier over there. Because this is a dual cell HSBA Plus device. It supports 42 megabits a second in the down, and uh, you can see the speeds are not quite as good as we had on the LTE HTC Raider, but uh, are certainly nothing to snuff at. Yet low ping times and uh, decent down and upload throughput, uh, though we'd like to see a bit more consistency between it as we've gotten upwards of 10 megabits a second in the downlink and as low as 25, sometimes even less. Uh, 2500 kilobits in the uplink, uh, in the downlink, and you can see in the uplink here, uh, it's also not quite as uh, reliable as LTE. Benchmark wise, we have um, uh, one of the um, kind of middle range Android processors in here. The Adreno 220 GPU performs decently well compared to uh, its, its uh, current generation, but uh, certainly not as high as. Uh, the Exynos um, on the Galaxy S2 with its Mali 400 GPU and uh, that's definitely one of the downsides to running an HTC device right now is the Snapdragon uh, generation is a little bit behind especially with uh, TIO map being uh, releasing their 4470 uh, system in the next few uh, months as well as uh, the Tegra 3 um, quad core uh, chip being released by NVIDIA soon. So uh, Samsung um, is, is also ahead right now with its um, Exynos and it's releasing a new one. Uh, you can see the scores here. Our scores were 8049 um, in the productivity and 2085 in the games and uh, you can see as well it doesn't quite compete with the top of the line um, uh, with the top of the line products there. If we scroll down a little bit you can see that uh, it comes pretty much in line with uh, some of the older devices such as the Atrix which still uh, it, it bests the Atrix in productivity but it still loses to the Atrix in uh, games and that's owing to the, the underwhelming GPU. So we have an excellent device very uh, good screen quality excellent build a little bit heavy, a little bit thick, but it's a power horse um, and uh, it definitely does the job. Battery life we found to be a little bit lackluster, especially if you're doing a lot of downloading. We found that uh, it, it lasts just a bit less than a full day. Uh, we've been using this on and off all day and uh, we have decent battery life, but uh, it's certainly not uh, not the greatest. So. Um, you know, we have a day here of, of barely using it at all, and it's uh, just under 50% finished. Um, that being said, Android's not known for its good battery life, and this one does impress us with its overall performance. Uh, if you um, want to see the uh, the speeds at which it loads web pages over the HSPA Plus network, you can see there, pages load quite quickly. and you can see that it changes from portrait to landscape equally quickly. Pinch to zoom is quite fluid and scrolling also. One of the nice features here on uh, this HTC Amaze and something that we haven't found out that we that we didn't know about until recently was in the gallery app if you scroll quickly back and forth you get this um, you get this preview pane here 
that allows you to see all your photos very quickly and uh, that's something that uh, we believe has been implemented recently in, in uh, Sense 3.0. Uh, the capacitive touch buttons on the bottom don't actually light up and uh, that's a difference to the HTC sensation. Um, overall, I think that this is a big improvement over any previous TELUS device. Uh, if you're up in the air about whether to get this or the Galaxy S2X, honestly I'd recommend this one if only for the fact that it has a better screen and uh, sharper, sharper text and uh, better reading angles. Okay, thanks so much for watching.